Hey guys, this is Mike, and you are watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. It is Sunday, July 7, 2019, and here in Pennsylvania, the summer months are heating up. We've had some very significant rises in the air temps over the past few days. It's been in the 90s, and the creek temps are slowly creeping up with that, and the place you want to be this time of year if you're chasing trout is on these spring creeks like the one we're sitting on here in Lycoming County. Today I'm going to be fishing with my buddy Nate Liscom, aka Skinny Water Drifter on Instagram. Nate is an avid steelhead fisherman on the Salmon River. He's also uh, chasing smallmouth bass out in the Susquehanna and the Juniana and, and the Tribs. And he just recently got into brook trout fishing and, and really has a passion for it and reached out to me and asked if we could go out and so here we are we're fishing a, about a four and a half mile long tributary to Big Pine Creek in Lycoming County I've already fished a couple of Big Pine Creek trips this year and they were both very good fisheries this one the flows are up a bit today because we had a strong band of thunderstorms come through last night so I don't know how that's going to impact the fishing I have fished this trip one other time on an exploratory mission but didn't film on it and it was a pretty good experience then. There are definitely brook trout in here. So the way Nate and I are going to handle this is I'm going to fish the surface with a terrestrial pattern and Nate's going to cover the subsurface with a wooly bugger or something other uh, like a nymph or something like that. So we'll cover the top and the bottom and then see how things pan out at the end of the day and who's more successful but uh, really looking forward to it this is going to be a vintage rod series I'm going to be fishing a bamboo rod for the first time and when we walk upstream here I'll, I'll show you this real quick so that should be interesting uh, so Nate you ready to hit the woods here yeah. head up in the hall yeah, all right guys let's go fish Okay guys, so I picked up this bamboo rod or what the British affectionately refer to as split cane on eBay. And it has the text Ted Sykes Deluxe Finest Tonkin Cane on it. This is a seven foot six inch rod. It was manufactured in Japan in the 1950s and imported. And that's all I know about it. If you know anything else about this rod, would love to know. But it's not a real high-end bamboo rod. I just wanted to start out with something simple that I didn't mind banging around in the woods a little bit. And for a pattern, I'm going to use this chubby Chernobyl ant, which is a big foam pattern with some hydrophobic yarn tied in. Should be interesting to see how that works out. But all the guys say bamboo is the ultimate dry fly fishing experience. We'll see. Nate, what are you going to be using today? Let's take a look at what you got over there. Um, I'm using a nine foot four weight uh, LL Bean Double L. I have that paired up with a uh, Lampson Liquid with four weight line. And I'm going to start off with swinging a Wooly Bugger, but I might switch to various streamers depending on what we see. Okay, cool.
Oh, they don't want to stay on this cubby. Playing clean up again. Not many fish out there. You like fishing for these brookies? Absolutely. Thanks for taking me out. Yep.
That was the same fish. Same fish, no doubt.
Okay guys, Nate and I are going to call it a day here in Lycoming County. We had a pretty good day of rookie fishing, wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we caught a pretty good number today. Uh, the fish were both up on top and subsurface. And I know for me, I learned a valuable lesson, which is when you come out here and you're only armed with dry flies, you're only going to catch certain fish depending on the conditions. You know, the flows were a little bit higher today because of that rain we had last night. And I think it had some of the fish down low, especially some of the larger fish. And in some of these pools, I was floating my dry fly through, snuck up on them, had a great approach, and nothing came up. And then Nate comes in and plays cleanup batter on that hole and catches the brookies. So, you know, in those situations, having that subsurface bully bugger really made a difference and caught the fish. So it was just a, a good learning experience, I thought. But, um, Again, we had a great day. We probably hiked about two and a half miles. I am not a fan of this specific bamboo rod. I think I probably need to purchase something a little nicer. If you guys have any recommendations on a good like six and a half or seven foot bamboo rod that's not a couple thousand bucks, I'd be interested in trying one out that actually has good performance. This rod is too stiff. The performance isn't good at all and uh, just I think that it contributed to a lot of the lost hookups that I had uh, on the drive fly, but I don't know, it's easy to blame the rod too, but I just didn't think it was working right. So, anyways, um, that's it. If you are a new subscriber, uh, I appreciate you watching the channel. If you're not subscribed, click the button below. Uh, we'll be putting out new content every couple weeks or so. and. We love rookie fishing, so Absolutely. you'll see us again. All right, guys, we're heading out. Thanks again.